Hi, it's Caitlin. Hey guys, it's Isaac. Hey, it's Chloe. It's Katie. I have the craziest story to tell you. My chest would start to hurt. I'd get really, really dizzy. I couldn't really breathe. My heart started cramping up. It's beating so fast. My chest would feel like it was on fire. Sometimes I would even pass out. My name is Katie Jo. I'm 11 years old, and I started vaping in July. I'm Caitlin. I started vaping three years ago. My name's Isaac, and I started vaping at 17. I'm Chloe. I'm 17, and I started vaping when I was 15. As soon as I started vaping, like, I started having panic attacks. I thought it just affected your body and not your mindset. It was making me feel less than who I was. My confidence was just dropping. I thought vaping could be a stress reliever because most of my friends were doing it and they were telling me how it helped them through school and homework. And I was trying to make a decision of where I wanted to play college football at. And I was just extremely stressed, so I picked it up and tried it. Vaping does not make you relaxed. If anything, it makes it so that you are more anxious. At first, I didn't think it was like addictive. I thought I was kind of stronger than it, but soon I realized like it was holding kind of a power over me. Like I would leave class and use it and I was always craving more and more. Like it was never enough. A lot of people assumed I was happy all the time. But once I got home, I would go to my room and it'd just be depression and sadness and loneliness and I felt like no one was there for me. Well, I started isolating myself from a lot of people, friends, family, and the world. My anxiety got really bad after I started vaping. It wouldn't even have to do with vaping. It would just be like about anything really. And it was odd because I was never an anxious person before. I realized what vaping really did to me. It was not helping me cope. It was canceling out my ability to cope. I started to feel anxious, and it wasn't happening to anybody else. So that meant that something was wrong with me. That just made me feel even more anxious and even more sad. It made my anxiety so bad, I couldn't even leave the house. I was scared to go to school. And then once I stopped, everything got better. I started a club at my school with my friend Tommy. We decided that other people needed a support group to like know that they're backed when they wanted to quit. You don't have to keep doing it if it's not something that you really want to be doing. I'm someone that has done it, and so I kind of want to be that voice for the like generation coming up to make sure they don't make the same mistakes.